We are now just days away from the church on Ruby Road, Doctor Who's first Christmas special in six years, and of course the first story proper for the 15th Doctor and his new companion, Ruby Sunday. We've had two trailers for this story so far, and I suppose these are the only ones we're going to get now, so there was one that came out right after the giggle on the official Doctor Who social media pages, and then Disney Plus also had their own trailer for this story, because of course this is now the proper launch of Doctor Who on Disney Plus. We've had the soft launch, we had the 60th specials on the platform internationally, but this is where it really kicks in now, so where Disney are kind of putting everything behind it, promoting this new era, promoting Shooty and the 15th Doctor. So very, very exciting and very unusual to have these two trailers as well. You know, in the past we might have had, you know, various BBC trailers, but now we have the BBC trailer and the Disney trailer. I suppose maybe that's going to be the norm going forward as well. But yes, I haven't talked about either of these trailers yet on the channel. So today I thought I'd do a breakdown of the Disney trailer, which in my opinion is the more exciting of the two. Perhaps I'll come back and do a breakdown of the BBC trailer as well, but I think this is the one that has the most interesting stuff in it. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So we open with a shot of the titular church on Ruby Road, this important setting not only for the story, but for this new companion as well, Ruby Sunday, because this is where she was left as a child or a baby essentially on Christmas Eve all those years ago. So here we see the church, the churchyard, and all the Christmas lights and snow and everything looking lovely. Of course, there was all the filming at this particular location, I think back in February of this year. I remember that well, all the photos and things that came out of that. But one thing that didn't come out of that is the mysterious third character present in these scenes. So obviously, you know, we had Shooty, we had Millie, We've got this mysterious hooded figure here holding baby Ruby, presumably. No idea who this person is. You know, will they end up being a really sort of significant character in the story, in the season overall as well? You know, what is going on here? This is the big question, basically, with this story, with next year's season, with Ruby Sunday. You know, who left her as a child and why? And what are these mysteries surrounding her birth? What, what are the answers that she's looking looking for. Then we have Shooty, the Doctor himself, exiting the TARDIS there, looking rather worried, you know, presumably witnessing these events. Does he just kind of stumble upon this by chance? Or maybe, you know, after meeting Ruby for the first time in the present day, does he go back in time to find out, you know, the truth? We also have a shot of the church clock chiming 12, midnight, Christmas Eve to Christmas Day. And over all this, this first kind of sequence of shots, some dialogue there from the Doctor, let me sit you down and tell you a Christmas story. Then we have a sequence of shots involving the older Ruby Sunday, the present day Ruby Sunday, who of course we will be meeting. So, you know, here we have her in this nightclub, I think the Prism nightclub down in Cardiff, I believe that's where it was filmed. And I believe from the other trailer and from interviews and stuff, from what we've seen and pictures, you know, this is where that first meeting between the Doctor and Ruby takes place. I think Ruby kind of sees the Doctor there dancing. That's a shot we do see in the BBC trailer. And then subsequent to that, we see in this trailer, the kind of the fallouts from that, where Ruby kind of drops or nearly drops her gin and tonic glass, I believe it is, and the Doctor picks it up. And it's all to do with this thing about Ruby experiencing episodes of bad luck, you know, kind of being cursed, presumably, or something. She believes herself to be cursed. She's experiencing all of this stuff happening to her and around her and presumably you know, that is why the Doctor takes an interest in her as well. As he says there in his narration, a story of chance, coincidence and luck. We then fade from the older Ruby to the younger Ruby, the baby Ruby there at the church. We see the Doctor go and pick her up, so you know, where does he take her? What is his involvement in her story? Is he changing history or was he always there, you know, involved? from the word go? Is this kind of some kind of bootstrap paradox or something weird and timey-wimey going on here? And then he looks up to the sky, to the stars, you know, does this suggest there is something kind of extraterrestrial about Ruby? You know, she's fallen from the sky or something, or at least the people that dropped her off, are they aliens? I'd be very surprised if there wasn't some kind of alien involvement somewhere along the line. We then have the first half of Disney's tagline for this special, there's a present, and the second half of that, as we see later on, is in your future, there's a present in your future. Nice little pun there, I quite like that. We then have some footage from later on in the story, where the Doctor is running along some rooftops, 
Ruby is there uh, clinging on to this ladder that's attached to the goblin ship, as we later see. Uh, this clip, or the kind of the scene that this clip is taken from, has actually been released as a preview clip in its own right. I believe it was shown on the Graham Norton show or something like that. Uh, it's well worth a watch if you haven't seen it. It really kind of gives an idea of what these two are going to be like on screen together, you know, Shooty and Millie. And this does appear to be their first kind of proper meeting in the episode. You know, I think before this, they kind of bump into each other here and there, like, you know, in the club or at the church, obviously. You know, little interactions here and there across Ruby's life and then all kind of comes to a head later on when something happens that involves them both kind of heading up towards this goblin ship. And yeah, I do like that as an idea, this, this idea of keeping the Doctor and Ruby separate, probably for the first sort of half or so of the story. You know, something we've seen before in the show, I think most notably in the first episode of the 2005 revival, Rose, where the Doctor and Rose, you know, very similar to this, you kind of bump into each other here and there, but it's not until much later on that they actually kind of become a duo, a pair, a team in their own right, and, and that kind of friendship kicks off in earnest. It's a nice device, you know, of course, Russell, again, is using it here for the first episode of the 15th Doctor's era, so it's hardly surprising. It's like a kind of Russell thing, I guess. And then also from this scene, we have a shot of the Doctor literally leaping and galloping over the chimneys on these rooftops. It's brilliant stuff, and it goes so well as well with his new theme, which again we hear in the preview clip that this shot is taken from, because his theme very much has that kind of galloping feel and rhythm to it, you know, the kind of dun 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 All of that fits together so, so nicely, so I highly recommend you go and check out that clip so to kind of see a bit more of this scene. It's brilliant. We next have a couple of shots from the Goblin ship itself, which we do see in the other trailer a bit more. Here we have the Doctor and Ruby, the Doctor there, outstretched arm with the sonic screwdriver, the new one in his hand, using that there. Uh, a kind of iconic image, you know, we're going to be seeing a lot more of this, you know, the Doctor and Ruby and the Sonic in the future episodes. And then a shot of a goblin banging a makeshift drum. We all know what this is from, the, the goblin song, of course, which, yes, is a thing. Go and stream the goblin song. We have the moment that the Doctor and Ruby kind of reach the top of the ladder and properly arrive in the goblin ship and check out their surroundings. And then a shot of the ship itself there, as seen from the outside, you know, up in the sky amongst the clouds. The CGI work there looks pretty good, and I can only assume it's above London, because I'm pretty sure that's where Ruby lives, I think in Notting Hill. Uh, of course, the actual stuff with Ruby in her house was recorded in Bristol, but yes, that's meant to be building for London, I believe. We have some dialogue from Ruby's adoptive mother, Carla. Here comes Santa, uh, presumably announcing her own arrival, I suppose, back to their flats. Because we then see her, a shot of her removing her coat, and she says, who is your friend, to Ruby. And of course, the friend in question is the Doctor, there with Ruby in her flat. She goes, this is, and it's not clear whether she goes on to say, you know, this is the Doctor, whether she even knows the Doctor's name yet. But the way the trailer is cut, you know, it kind of cuts there, ends there, and cuts to the logo, so it kind of it works nicely there. This is Doctor Who. Lovely, lovely stuff. I must say as well, the, the version of the logo that we get in this is far, far superior to the one we've seen on the screen. Oh, if only we could get this in the title sequence, but I'm pretty sure they've said they are kind of keeping the title sequence introduced for the 60th, but this just looks infinitely better in terms of how the logo is actually integrated into the sequence. And a nice little shot of the TARDIS as well, kind of flying through a multicoloured vortex. Yeah, I'm guessing this is just like a, a Disney thing, you know, something they've made to use in their own trailers, which unfortunately won't be appearing in episodes themselves, but we can dream. And there we go, that is Disney's trailer for Doctor Who, The Church on Ruby Road. So, what did you think of this trailer and the shots within? What theories and predictions do you have? You know, who is that hooded figure in the churchyard? And what are the secrets of Ruby's birth? Whatever your thoughts, your theories, your hopes and predictions, please do let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and make sure you stay subscribed for more stuff like this in the future. But otherwise, until the next one, thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.